Hello everybody and welcome to Expeditious Fool Tarot. My name is Brandon. We're here with the Lightworkers card pool for the day. Uh, we'll get right into it. Uh, today we've got a fun one, really, really great one. Um, one of my favorite cards in a lot of decks, um, even though it does scare a lot of people. <laughs> so let's get into it. We've got the devil today. Um, now the devil, I'm a Capricorn, and the devil does represent Capricorn as far as the astrology um, with tarot, if we go es esoteric with it. Um, but as you can see, let me make sure it's clear here. There we go. Um, as you can see with the devil card, this is essentially the game we play. This is the game we play in life. These are all of the delusions. Um, so society, money, structure, all of those things, they, they come from this devil energy. Um, by that, what, I'm, what I mean is we, we chain ourselves to egoic ways of thinking. When we do that, it limits us, right? It, it puts us into a box. It allows us to not break free from any of the suffering. Um, this is essentially a card of unintegrated shadow when, you know, even, even the term devil, you know, God, the devil, it's got to be an opposing side, right? Um, so it's representing the fact that we have bad aspects, but we're rejecting that, right? We're not integrating, you know, bad aspects. Technically, it's all just actions. It's how we use them, right? Um, and, and that's, that's where this card really highlights it. Um, I see it always as a representation of the battle between living a true, authentic life, living true to the nature of existence in life, or living into the civilizations and structures, um, that we've created, or as I like to call, um, accumulations. Uh, if you identify with the accumulations in life, meaning your experiences, things you've learned, good things, bad things. I don't like to say traumas, so I say experiences because they can be good or bad. Um, and sometimes a trauma can bring you to a great level, um, you know, once you have further reflection and understanding on it. Um, or repeated traumas over and over again. You know, so like I call repeated experiences over and over again, urge you to make changes, urge you to to make lessons. That's the reason why shadow integration is necessary, not eliminating the ego. Our ego is very, very useful um, because it's how we accomplish goals, right? So the ego, when it focuses, it does a couple different things. Um, it either recognizes a potential threat or it recognizes a potential opportunity you know that's the reason why when we start this work it fights us so hard and tries to remind us of this chain now this chain is really really loose these people could take this chain off especially on most decks this one's a little bit more secure um, but like the standard rider weight it's loose they could just walk up and take it off but they don't <laughs> they don't because it plays with them you know, you can stay here, you can have all the sensual pleasures you want, but as far as the true, true joy of life, the true understanding of life, if you stay in this system and only see this system, you'll never have true joy because everything here is temporary. And that's one of the hard things that, you know, explaining people at the start of the process is that every single thing is temporary and that's where people go into the existential dread or the dark night of the soul once they start awakening because they realize that um, your job your stuff eventually you're going to lose it even if you have a relationship that lasts um, say 60 years and you're married you know, and you never get divorced and you both love each other. That's amazing. That's wonderful. That's rare these days. Excellent. But one of you will die first. So one of you will die first. Therefore, everyone dies alone. I mean, even, even the fact if somebody's there in your head, in your mind, 
You know, those last moments, that's something you do by yourself. And that's scary. That's the reason why a lot of people don't go down the path of a light worker. That's the reason why a lot of people don't do the shadow work. They don't integrate the shadow when they start the shadow work. They, they look at it as an enemy. And then they're still unhappy because they're still playing this game. Um, and that's the thing of it. As long as we play this game, and, and me, I do it too. Um, and as long as we play that game, true joy is, is, is not found in the lifetime. Um, that's where, you know, you hear the yogis, the monks, etc. talk about realization or enlightenment. Um, and that's, that's the gist of it, is understanding that all of this pain that we look at is an illusion. That all of this is a game. This body, it doesn't matter what happens to it, because it's what's inside the body. The body is something I accumulated, um, just just as my experiences, as my diet. It's all things I accumulate. So that this body is also something I accumulated. And when you think about that, if you can get something, if if something can be accumulated to something, then obviously you're not your body. You're not those experiences. You're not. Um, you're not the belief systems that you've seen around you, because all of those things are added on, right? You've accumulated those. So who accumulated those? And that's really the questions in the integration that this card's calling uh, for. You you can have as much suffering as you want, or you can have as much joy as you want. It all depends on how much acceptance of the process we can do and again i understand easier said than done everybody um all right thanks everybody for listening uh i love you all so so much i appreciate all of the comments the feedback that that i get throughout the page it lets me know you know that that i'm out there helping people which is definitely what i want to do um if anybody wants to schedule a reading i'm wide open today as well as most of the week i've, I've got availability just contact me we'll schedule you for a reading um I've got uh, I've got tarot spots open, obviously, intuitive consulting sessions. Um, I've got all of those available, so just let me know, and we'll get you squared away and taken care of. Um, thank you all so, so much, and go out there and have a great day on purpose, everybody.